If you want to create unique characters with personality but don't know how, then this video is just for you. I've put together some extremely useful tips for designing your own characters, mainly about shape language, because how you use shape language can make the difference between a boring character and an interesting character. So if you don't know what shape language is, or you kind of have an idea but you're not sure, shape language is how you can convey personality and character through the shapes. And there are three main shapes used for character design, so let's begin by explaining all three. The first shape is the circle, and what it represents is soft, harmless, peaceful, and approachable. So if you want your character to convey these qualities, then use the circle shape. Characters with primarily circle shapes in their designs can be innocent or graceful, and is used in a lot of protagonist characters. And the second shape is the triangle, which conveys sharpness, dynamic, unpredictability, and it can sometimes mean dangerous as well. Many villain characters have lots of triangular shapes, but other characters that aren't villains can have this shape too. And the third and final shape, the square, represents solid, sturdy, strong, and reliable qualities. Examples of characters with these shapes are characters like Mr. Incredible from the movie Incredibles. So to illustrate how useful shape language is, I drew two character portraits side by side and used a different combination of shapes for each, so you can see how much of a difference it makes. For the portraits, I mainly focused on the shapes of the facial features and the hair. And you can also pick two or more shapes to use in characters, instead of just one like using both the circle and triangle shape for a character design. They kind of contradict themselves sometimes, but using two main shapes instead of one can sometimes add depth to a character design and make the character seem more three-dimensional. A good way to find out if your character designs are dynamic and use good shape language is to take multiple of your characters and put them side by side all on one layer. Then make a new layer on top clip it to the characters, and fill them completely with black. You should be able to see the characters' silhouettes, and if they look somewhat different from each other, and like they each show a different personality or vibe, then you've done a good job. A good way to make the silhouette more dynamic is adding accessories that stick out or don't look like they're glued to the character's body. It makes things much more interesting for the viewer to look at. And of course, another important part to character design is actually which colors you use. Colors have a heavy influence on the visual aspect of a character, and each color can add to the personality of the character. So let me know in the comments if I should make a full video on picking the right colors for your character designs. Another thing that may come in handy if you're wanting to make character art is a fast and effective lighting technique. This way, you can make your illustrations look nice and finished without spending too much time on them. So click the video at the top right of the screen if you're interested. 